All right, fellas, what is up? We're back again. We've got a eh, interesting video today. Where am I? I am in Greens, Greenville, Greenville, not Greensboro. I keep saying Greensboro, Greenville, South Carolina. What am I doing? I've got my luggage. Uh huh. I've got my camera gear. We're going old school, baby. No drones. No Brandon this time. Brandon's back home doing a few things. I'm going practicing for the Forest Wood Cup. A little pre-practice. We've got a special little guest going to pick me up today. Oh, yeah. Billy got a bass. Oh, yes. we got to go find him. Billy's got a bass. He's here somewhere. So I'm looking forward to seeing old Billy. It's been a few, it's been a few weeks. It's been, it's been like a month. Tour season ended. Co-angler thing stopped. And... Uh, I hadn't been hanging out with Billy, so it's going to be good to see him. So what we're going to do with this video is we are going to just shoot it old school. Just going to be me, a couple chesties, and show you guys how I prepare on a pre-practice video. And uh, just show you kind of what I'm going to do. Hopefully you'll uh, learn a little bit about fishing along the way. Billy looking sharp in his new truck. Look at Billy. Yeah, big boy truck now. I like it. I like it. He, he doesn't know I'm here. What up, dog? Hey, what's up, man? What up? That's a big boy truck. I like it. I like it. I need a ride? Should have known you had that silly camera. I do need a ride. It's hard to it's hard to carry bags and film at the same time. All right, so I made it. Greens, green, green. I can't just want to say Greensboro. That's in North Carolina. Yeah, you always do. That. Yeah, I always do that. So it's Greenville, Spartanburg, Spartanburg. That's where we are. Spartanburg. What are you listening to? Uh, the Bassmaster, the Elite, Saint Lawrence. This is Bassmaster. Who's doing what? Is Kevin Van Dam catching? Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard that. Casey Ashley just uh, took the lead. Really? Mm -hmm. So the plan today is to go fishing, but I don't have a boat. But we're going to solve that problem. Oh yeah, we're gonna solve that problem. Yes, we are. There's Billy's Lake. That's your lake right there, isn't it? Man, man, I like it. I like it. We are here at Billy's. We home, man. All right, check this out, guys. This is kind of cool. Check it out. Bam! Right there. There it is. That's the old beauty. That's the old beauty right there. Mm -hmm. Back in black, baby. Back in black. It's my last year's boat, guys. That was, that was the 2016 boat, right? 16 Hello. season? Yeah. Last year's boat. Champlain, Champlain champion right here. Right here. I'm back in it. Billy bought the boat. <clears throat> Let me look. It's even got the carpet logo still. And I still have all the uh, waypoints for Champlain, so they're for sale, highest bidder. Ooh, ooh. Did oh. I say that out loud? Yeah, you did, actually. That could be a problem. Don't worry, I'll delete them. All right, man. Perfect. All right, so here's what we're doing. Just to clarify, I'm going to go fishing on Lake Murray for two and a half days. Billy can't go with me because Billy is not in the Forestwood Cup. And so I can't fish with anybody that's not in the Forestwood Cup. So I can go out by myself, and that's what I'm going to do. So... We're gonna hook this thing up, and I'm gonna head to the ramp at Lake Murray. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple days worth of pre-pre-practice. I don't get a chance to do this too often, to be honest with you, to go before the official practice. But because it's the Forestwood Cup, and I need to try to locate as many brush piles as I can, try to find some schooling fish, and just get a good feel for the lake, and that's what this trip's all about. So stay tuned, we're heading to the ramp. All right, bam, I'm here, Lake Murray. I'm in the old Trocar battle wagon. Oh yeah, you've seen this boat before. I'm excited. Actually, this boat is in the video that just posted the other day, the one that we did at Hartwell. You can tell by the old trolling motor. So this is my last year's boat. We're here at Lake Murray. And what am I gonna do? I'm gonna ride around and look, hopefully catch a few fish, but really more importantly, I'm just trying to get a feel for water temperature, activity, just trying to, you know, I, I know it's going to be tough. I want to see how tough it's going to be so I can mentally prepare. You know, I live in Florida. It's hot down there, but let me tell you something. South Carolina hot is different. It's hot, hot, hot here. So I want to try to find schooling fish, 
I also want to go into a lot of creeks and coves that I have never been to before and see if I can find some shallow fish. Find a lot of shade, find some good grass, shoreline grass, logs, things like that. Things that just take time to find. That's what this practice is about. So I'm going to walk you through some of this, hopefully catch a few fish, show you what I'm doing, and uh, enjoy the ride. All right, what I'm doing is basically just casting around out here on this little hump. I've caught some fish out here before and just seeing what kind of activities here, casting this little fluke around, throwing the top water a little bit, just really just kind of seeing. There's some nice fish on the graph. See these fish right here? That's, uh, that's probably a bass. There's some bait here. Some interesting things. Let's drop this drop shot down and see what happens. See if it follows it down. It's the wrong time of the day to catch them down here. We're kind of in that middle part of the day. Although they do school sometimes, but it's better in the mornings. So let's make a little move. I just wanted to make a few casts, make sure everything was working right. It's got potential. What I'm doing is basically looking for some areas that have a lot of natural shoreline. What is natural shoreline? It's it's areas that, like right there, it's all improved shoreline and, you know, single docks. Those aren't good. I want to find, like, what's in front of me. A lot of grass, some natural trees, just some, you know, uncut banks. There's a lot of that in this little pocket right here. I can see a lot of grass. A lot of shade, a lot of grass, a lot of lay-down trees. That's, that's good stuff. So I'm going to roll through here real fast with a uh, frog and a buzz bait and just see if I can get a bite or two. Old docks like this are good. Old docks have been here a while. Got a lot of shade. Close to the shoreline, natural stuff around here. Little boat ramps like this too are also good places. That, that concrete that slides off in the water a lot of times is a little cooler than the dirt around it. So fish in the summertime will relate to those boat ramps a lot of times. Well, uh, you know, you look at a deal like this and you say to yourself, where do I fish? Where do I fish? I don't know. I don't have the answers, but we didn't get bitten here, but that doesn't mean that you can't because there's, there's like that tree pile right there looks good. A uh, little point of grass right there with some deep water looks good. I mean, hell, there's a castle. I mean, pff, I mean, you always catch a bass around a castle. Really? So now, I'm just going to keep riding around and look for more of the same. I haven't got bit yet, but again, I'm not too concerned about that. It's about finding bluegill beds. It's about finding some deeper shorelines with some natural grass, some laydowns. Just finding a good milk run of good looking water. That's what we're trying to find. Finally. Interesting. All right. So, got back out here, pulled up on this dock, a little bit of brush, caught a decent fish, two and a quarter or so. It's not bad. Not bad. All right, guys. Well, this practice is officially over. Sorry I didn't catch a whole lot for you on film, but it, hopefully you learned a few things. Hopefully you just got to see my mindset, how I approached it. What did I find? I didn't find a whole lot. But I did find probably 15 or 20 brush piles that have fish in them. I found two or three schools of fish. You know, none of it is really quite where it needs to be to win the tournament yet. But nevertheless, it's a starting point. I've got some uh, things I need to do up shallow when I get back here in about two weeks. Some frog fishing, some buzz bait, stuff like that. I think the fishing is going to get better. 
in the next two weeks for sure. So I'm headed back to the airport. Gonna head down to Keys tomorrow, do a little lobster hunting the next couple days. So thanks for watching, guys, and thank you for subscribing. And I hope you enjoyed it, man. I don't know. Not a whole lot going on. Brandon's not here. I did the best I could. We'll see you guys. Bam! We're, we're going to be changing some things up. We're going to be changing some things up. People have been complaining about Brandon's choice of music. So we're going to do a different, different soundtrack right now. Now. They'll be famous. Very good. Very good. That's the new music we're going to be playing right there.